Hey everyone and welcome back to Abandoned Oz. I am currently at Darling Harbour. Just giving you all an update on the site of where Harbourside Shopping Centre used to be. It's about, what is it, the 24th of November 2023. So it's not too far off a year since Harbourside closed. Now they're still doing a bit of work here. It's been a little while since I've done an update and it will be a little while until I do another update again. So we'll just go for a bit of a walk around. It is a pretty miserable day. But that's all right. Got new signage from Mervac all along here. So Mervac is the company that actually owned Harborside Shopping Centre. And they are the ones that are building the new building. Uh, what will go in its place? So I've heard is a new shopping precinct on the bottom levels with apartments or something alike on above floors. From a year ago until now, it looks so different. It looks quite plain. <laughs> And across the sorry I don't know what just happened there um, it literally just froze for some reason anyway um, across the way attempt number two is Cockle Bay Wharf which uh, is apparently also not right now but down the track going to be demolished I was going to joke and say hopefully the Piermont Bridge isn't next, but I, I don't want to speak too loud about that because they'll probably hear and they'll do it. So with Ibis Hotel and Novotel here, they'd be getting better views since Harborside's been demolished. Hopefully their rooms aren't too much more expensive because of the uh, improved view. But I guess, um, I guess they're making the most of it because the building that's going in Harborside's spot, Harborside's place, is actually going to be significantly taller than Harborside was. So I think that the views of Novotel and Ibis will most likely be blocked out once that new building's opened. But they're doing quite a bit of work there. Um, it's been months since I've done an update on this, so I, can imagine, I wouldn't imagine that they're still getting rid of bits of Harborside because that's all... and the old monorail stop, because that's all been well and truly demolished and most likely cleaned up. So I wonder if they're doing preparation works for building the next the next building. So we'll just walk up and around and we'll make our way up to that part of um, the Piermont Bridge. It's always a nice walk along here. It's um, another reason why it's always been a pleasure to do these updates on on the Harborside site. I wasn't going to do any update, not for a long, long while, but um, I know a couple of you had asked what's happening with it. If the remains of the monorail stopper have been completely demolished, etc., etc. So I thought, yeah, why not? Why not?
but if any of you want to look back on the Harborside videos, just uh, put in the search box, Abandoned Oz Harborside. I'm sure quite a bit will come up on it. I've done a lot of videos. Walkthroughs before the last day, walkthroughs on the last day, uh, many demolition updates, things like that. start by saying that that bridge has been cut off that went to the monorail stop the harbour imagination project a walkable exhibition to celebrate the history stories and creativity of Tumbalong so the wall that surrounds where Harborside used to be that we just walked past, there was um, actually quite a lot of information on um, on Sydney and and its history. Quite interesting. I might actually come back for a video on that. But this little spot here is where I usually go to look over Harborside. Or well, what was Harborside anyway? Now it's just mud and puddles. Oh yeah, yeah, they've they've completely, well and truly, um, well and truly underway of uh, starting to build this new building. They've already started with the hole in the ground, as you do. Far out, eh? Don't hide, come back. What are you doing? Come back. Eee, there you are, I'm doing. Oh, there you are. Insane. So here is where the monorail stop used to be, and it used to, well, it used to be right here. <laughs> and now it's not. There's the bridge that's been cut off that used to go over to the monorail stop that I showed you just before. There's a walkway over to the car park that's across there. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's what's happening with Harborside. Oh yeah, I'm still calling it Harborside. That is what's happening with Hole in the Ground. Counting down the days until the uh, views blocked out again. <laughs> yeah, they won't be laughing when that happens. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all I think. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel and share the video, all that stuff. Everything helps in supporting Abandoned Oz and Sydney's history and things alike. I'll catch you all soon. Bye.